Hello everyone, it's me. If you don't know who I am, okay, I can accept that. That's fine. Alright, anyway, today we are going to be talking about the expressionism of heroism in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I hope you enjoyed that intro, by the way, because it kind of showed off the 22 posters I'm going to be looking at today. The 22 posters from the 22 Marvel films in the Infinity Saga, that's all of them except for Far From Home. We're going to be looking at all of them, we're going to be looking at the facial expressions, the expressionism of the characters in the posters, and we're going to be taking that into account and trying to figure out the differences between the genders. We're going to be looking at the men and women separately, and, well, I guess there's also plant, but we're pretty much throwing it in the mail because Groot's masculine. Alright, anyway, moving on to the research question. All right, everyone, we have ourselves a research question. And that question is, how does expressionism differ between men and women in movie posters across the Marvel Cinematic Universe? While we're on the subject of movie posters, if you're wondering where I got these movie posters, I typed in the Google search engine, all MCU movie posters. And I got one website with a big long list. They actually were ranking them, and for some reason the third Captain America movie was at the top. Okay, regardless, that's how I found them. And when I say expressionism, I'm talking facial expressions. I'm probably not using expressionism in the dictionary definition way, but it's easier than saying facial expressions and the emotions they're conveying through how their faces look every single time. All right, on that note, we're gonna get right into the um, how I got my data. All right, guys, I'm gonna explain my process for coding now. In all 22 posters, there were 97 men and 41 women for a total of 138 appearances. And for each of these 138 appearances, I, you know, addressed the facial expression of the individual into one of 12 categories. Those 12 categories are far away look, confident, determined, angry, serious, goofy, cute, romantic, unsure, distasteful, sad, and smiling. Now. I took all those categories, I took all the numbers, it was lopsided towards the males obviously, so I did some scalar math with numbers and fractions and division, it was pretty awful. But anyway, I actually got nice numbers that actually accurately represent the differences so we can make a comparison, and that is coming up on the next slide. Alright everyone, now it's time to look at our data and see what we can take away from all of this. Now there's a lot of data on this screen I know. A lot of it's needlessly complicated and confusing. The important stuff, the stuff we can actually compare, is right in the middle and highlighted yellow. By comparing these two columns and looking at the column on the far left, we can determine which gender is more likely to be portrayed as having a certain facial expression in a movie poster. Now, using this method, we can determine that men are more likely to be portrayed with a faraway look, a serious expression, a goofy, cute, or sad expression, or as smiling whereas women are more likely to be portrayed as confident, angry, romantic, unsure of themselves, distasteful, and determined. Right about now, I bet someone out there, somewhere in the wide vastness of the world, is wondering, how does this relate to sociology? That is a very good question. Thank you for asking, and I assure you I have an answer for it. The movie making business is a business, and businesses revolve around making money. And making money revolves around people spending money, and people spend money on what they want to see. So to that extent, the movies are shaped by what the audience wants to see, what society wants to see in the movies, and obviously the movie posters are shaped by the movie, at least for the most part. Sometimes they throw curveballs at us, but for the most part, movie posters are based on the movies. Now very quickly in these last few seconds I'm going to go over the general idea of both genders. As you can see in the following word cloud, determined is a very popular idea for superheroes. Um, I guess it makes sense. You, like Our heroes iconically are determined. They stand up after they're beat, they get up to fight again, and they don't stop till they've won. And it's an idea that obviously the audience likes to see. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Good night.